Okay, welcome back. So let's show you how to do the next part. We're almost done with the parts. We just have like two more to go, technically, with the engine. So uh, we can make another part here. So let's just make it here. So from the main one, so new component. Oh, so before that, I guess, make sure we, we are to the main assembly over here, main one, uh, new component. And this will be the wrist pin. Okay, all right, good. We're just gonna make a sketch and the from plane. And this will be a circle. We'll be sitting there, right? So it will be just 18. Let's do two of them. This will be 18. This one will be 25. And we will extrude this a length of 55 with a fillet of one radius, a radius of one. So let's select um, extrude. In this phase, um, let's do symmetric total length of 55. Okay. And I will do a, move it out. And I can do a fillet on the, these two faces. Actually, I will do it not on that face, not on that edge, but on the face itself. So fillet this face, this face, and this will be a one millimeter. All right, so that is my pin. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now let's make our camshaft. So let's make it once again a new component here. Make sure we're on the main component over here, the main, a new component. Uh, this one will be the crankshaft. And let's go to create sketch. Let's go to the front. And I just put reverse precision, that's fine. Front page. Uh, we can clear those out. The other ones, turn them off. I'm um, sure that we uh, we can go over here to the front. There we go. Starting circle for first one 40. Next concentric circle will be 50. Uh, I'm gonna make another circle just slightly below that, somewhere over here, 110. Um, and then I will make another circle somewhere around here. Make sure that all of them are centered. So this one will also be 50. And another concentric circle that will be 70. Okay, so let's make sure, let's do some distances. So from this to this center, this will be 22. And then from here, to here will be 64.5. Okay, we're gonna be making some line over here crossing to the center, cutting across like that, and then two lines from here to here, from this point to this point like that. And let's do the trim, let's do this part and this part. We can cut this one here, cut this one here, cut it here, and we can also cut these lines here. So this is what we have left. So we have all the dimensions, we can finish the sketch. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing with this one is we are going to be extruding this one. All right, so <clears throat> let's extrude it. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to select all of it. So extrude, <clears throat> select all the faces. But instead of doing like that, we're going to do offset. It will be an offset of 20 meters. But in this case, for me, it will be negative 20. Because I want it to be offset to the other side. Like that. And then it will be direction one-sided and two objects or not just distance will be negative 15 millimeters like that yeah so offset negative 20 is a negative negative 15 at least for me for yours you know once again we're on the right side so make sure it's 
to point in the same direction. For yours, it might be positive. Uh, and OK. I'm going to go over here, open the sketches so that we can sketch some of this one. So once again, extrusion, I'm going to select this um, in a circle. Uh, so offset uh, it will be, I'm going to select this face as reference. Instead of cut, we're going to do join. And this will be, oh, will be negative. Uh, what is it? 20 starters. Offset. Or from object. There we go. Yeah, it's from object. So. Okay, so we're going to continue extruding. So click extrude. Select this face. Instead of profile, we're going to create from object. Select this face. And then I will do my distance of 20. Or in this case, will be negative 20. Start with negative 20. Join. Okay, we might need to we might need to modify some of that later. So repeat for the outer circle like that. From object, select this face, and your distance will be. Um, I think it is negative five. There we go. Awesome. So that's that one. And we are going to add some. Fillet on this one to make this a little more round. All right, so we're going to fillet this. So we need three. So this edge, this edge, and this edge, all of them will be 1.5. There we go. And we might need to extend this one later. So we'll do that eventually. Um, another thing that we need to fillet, it's the outer sides, but we'll do that later. So I'm going to turn off the sketches for a little bit. All right, so we will fillet, so fillet this part, but it will be the, this inner edge, this inner edge, and this one, let's check 30. There we go. And then after we get that one, we're going to fillet this outer edge and this outer edge, not that one, not this one as 25. 30. And then lastly, we are going to fillet this one and this one with a fillet of 2.5. There we go. All right, so it's looking good. This is our crankshaft. So we still need to um, do a little more. So what I'll do is I will do mirror. So select the bodies. So all of these bodies and the mirror plane will be this one. And if we made it correctly, it should mirror back exactly 20 like that. Okay, press okay. Now we need to make sure that this two connect. So I will turn on my sketches again. And I will select uh, extrude, select this in the circle, create symmetric. You can click this face so that they both touch. And okay. And now we turn this off and our crankshaft, it's done. So yours might look, you know, a little bit different. We might edit this, this later, but this is how the crankshaft starts. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video.